Hi, I'm Scott Redmond from Redmond Physics Tutoring, and in this video we're going to learn a simple trick to identify series and parallel circuit elements. First, I'll introduce Romeo. He's a decent student most of the time, but sometimes has trouble convincing himself to study. Unfortunately, Romeo just realized that he has a quiz on series and parallel circuits tomorrow, and he's stressed. First of all, Romeo knows that he gets the basic idea, but he usually makes mistakes with tricky circuits, and he's positive that his prof will choose something sneaky. But that's not all. In half an hour, Romeo has a hot date with Juliet, and he really doesn't want to miss that date. How can Romeo learn to identify series and parallel circuit elements the right way, every time, and still be on time for his date? The answer is simple. Use highlighters to color the wires in the circuit schematic. Let's see an example. Maybe you can just look at this and see that the EMF, R1, and R3 are in parallel, and R2 is in series with the capacitor. That's great. Romeo, however, looks at this and doesn't know where to start. He's pretty sure that the EMF and R3 are in parallel because they're right beside each other, but he's not sure about the capacitor, and is R1 in series with R3? It's a mess. We've heard how the pen is mightier than the sword, and in this case, highlighters can conquer confusion. The basic idea is to color in each wire, going along the entire length of the wire, but not crossing any circuit elements, such as EMS, resistors, and capacitors. Let's start with red, going from the top of the EMF, right to R2, then up to R1, and down to R3. Notice that we don't cross any of the resistors. We only color the wire going up to each element. Then choose another color, say green, to go from R2 down to the capacitor. That one stops right there. Finally, we choose blue. Remember, we're using one color for each wire to go from R1 to the capacitor, R3, and the EMF. The color choices don't really matter. What matters is that each wire gets its own color and that the colors don't cross any circuit elements. That said, if you're using a breadboard, it's a good idea to use red for the positive side of the power source and blue for the negative side of the power source because those colors are printed directly on the breadboard. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say breadboard, then you probably don't need to worry about it, at least not yet. Here's the easy part. Any circuit elements that share the same two colors or wires are in parallel. So Romeo only needs to identify the pair of colors for each element and then check whether any elements match colors. In this case, R1, the EMF, and R3 all have red on one side and blue on the other. They share the same pair of colors, which means they share the same pair of wires, and they are in parallel. Nothing else is in parallel in this circuit. An easy way to check this is to list the circuit elements off to the side and draw in the colored wires that attach to each element. To check for elements in series, just look for any wires that connect to only two circuit elements. The red wire is connected to R1, the EMF, R2, and R3. That's four elements, and they are not in series. The green wire is connected to R2 and the capacitor. That's only two elements, and they are in series. The blue wire is connected to R1, the capacitor, R3, and the EMF. These elements are not in series. Easy peasy. Okay, let's try one more example. This one's set up a bit differently and may not be so obvious, as if the first one was obvious. Romeo's feeling a little less uncertain, but he's watching the clock like a hawk. So let's dive in. Start with red coming from the positive side of the EMF, connecting to R3, R4, and the capacitor. Then we'll use green from the other side of the capacitor to R5. Romeo can already see that the green wire is only connected to the capacitor and R5, so he knows those are in series. Continue with a yellow highlighter going from the bottom of R5 to R4, R3, and R2. Then he chooses pink to connect R2 to R1, another pair of elements in series, and finishes with blue connecting R1 and the EMF, yet another pair of elements in series. Again. Any elements with the same two wires, or the same two colors, are in parallel. We can see that R3 and R4 are in parallel because they're connected to the same pair of colors, red and yellow. But that's it. No other elements are in parallel in this circuit. Wires that connect only two elements indicate that those elements are in series. Romeo was noticing this as he drew on the schematic. Here, the capacitor and R5 are in series. Romeo also noticed that R2 and R1 are in series, and R1 and the EMF are in series. This makes a chain, which means that all three elements, the EMF, R1, and R2, are in series. Any electron that passes through R2 must also pass through R1 and the EMF. There are no other paths for the, the electrons to take between the EMF and R2. 
Feeling much better about the quiz, Romeo closed his books and raced out to pick up Juliet. He rocked his quiz the next day. As for his date, when I asked him, he kind of smiled, turned bright red, and immediately changed the subject. Nice. Thank you so much for watching this. I really appreciate you taking some time out of your busy day. I hope this tip can help you as it helped Romeo, and I wish you great success in your physics course. Good luck. For more tips and tricks for mastering your physics course, check out redmondphysicstutoring.com.